respected dear family members my pranams to you yesterday's hindu newspaper may 10 that they have reported a message given by the saha karyawar of rss <coughs> he in his press conference told to the press people the reporters that many of the electronic media and many of the print media people are presenting the attacks towards a particular religious group or their churches and mosques with a the highest sensational value whereas whatever is happening to hindu ashram hindu temple or hindu leaders almost it got covered without even noticing or without even presenting without publishing even a minute news of that thus an image is created world over that the minority religious institutions are getting attacked whereas the majority enjoy the privilege of protecting their prayer halls and temples hundreds and hundreds of <clears throat> hindu temples got smashed or burned or just destroyed even now it is continuing not in pakistan or bangladesh of course there the number is very high even in uttar pradesh many temples are getting destroyed when i used the word many i did not mean thousands and thousands dozens and dozens the news used to come in hindu publications when i say hindu publication hindu magazines hindu weeklies hindu monthlies and hindu newspapers particularly directly or indirectly connected with the ashrams sanyasis or rss or vishwa hindu parishad but these news whatever is happening against hindus they never appear in the general public media but whatever minor thing happened in the minority institutes they get projected in the front page thus creating a terribly negative image of india that the christians and the muslims are not under safe custody in india only the hindus and the rss bajranga dal and they create the problem and they destroy it the fact presented in the hindu newspaper as a separate news not what i am telling now that the 70 year old nun was sexually harassed by two two hooligans from bangladesh two muslims who uh, invaded to india i use a wrong word invaded to india and they created the problem for the 70 year old nun all the christian cardinals metrans and bishops of kerala they pointed out the the mistake in such a way that our prime minister should have kept his himself as the security person to this seminary to protect that 70 year old nun when the prime minister is not protecting the christian 70 year old nun these things will happen they wanted to say that these things are done by rss or vishwa hindu parishad they wanted to point out everything against rss and vhp and denigrating and degrading and making fun of these people so that they can consecrate their people in the next election they want to see that american government and ngo outside they will have to do their best to stop prime minister and bjp rule in india because they want to project that the minorities are not under the safe rule in this country they are affected and their prayer halls are affected their churches are affected 10 times of what is happening to their churches are happening to hindu temples that is not at all presented by this print media or electronic media the so called people who are declaring the verdict like arnab goswami khadan hardeshai and many people from kerala in their channels 
They give the verdict. They think that they are at higher position than the Supreme Court judge. And they create the image they wanted to create against the rulers. And very rarely good things are projected and very rarely bad things are avoided. They wanted to see that the present government ultimate rule is to, to see that each minister is standing in front of every seminary to protect the Christians. Christians and the bishops and the metrans and the cardinals know how to pray against the Hindus and also how to do their level most to project a bad image of India outside. They themselves think that when they are the rendered tenants of India. They think that they are the more than first grade citizen of India. Every minority individual should get a 10 times more privileges than the majority individuals. That is why the Christian judge opposed on Good Friday meeting even though he was supporting for the last two months when the decision was taken on November 2014. On the verge he wrote to Prime Minister, he wrote to Chief Justice and said uh, conducting a meeting of the judges and the governors on Good Friday is against minority. Where 98% of the American population is Christians, their Good Friday is not a holiday. There every judge has to attend their meeting. And when the Christian judge of Jammu Kashmir and Christian judge of Uttaranjal they attended the meeting. The Kerala based judge took it as an opportunity to denigrate the rulers, BJP rulers. Like this, right from the top judge to the bottommost scavenger, every Christian, every Muslim looked for their opportunity to denigrate the majority community. And wheresoever BJP and RSS or BHP is doing their work, their mission, whatever denigration is happening to the Hindus or Hindu sannyasis or Hindu ashrams or Hindu temples or Hindu organizations, even that is projected as a negative thing. Very recently, very recently, last week, when a Hindu temple was burnt in Uttar Pradesh, some people send a message, WhatsApp and SMS message. Sometimes Godra will happen. The burning of the temple did not come to picture at all. Every newspaper reported that false message of Godra incident is spreading throughout Uttaranjal, seeing that Hindus are at their, at their negatives in receiving the, the blow from the Muslims. So the real fact was that the Muslims burned the temple that did not come to the news at all. That the press people do not want to give that. Because according to them, the Hindus are expected to suffer whatever negatives are done against them. The Christians and Muslims, even though they are doing as many negatives as possible to Indian culture and doing the conversion, forceful conversion by cheating and fraud method, they are all the direct angels from the heaven, whereas the Hindus are direct devils from the hell, according to the press. My request, tell the truth, never hide the truth. Tell the truth of both sides, facts of both sides. That is the dharmic press reporting. I am telling to you this, not as a merely citizen of India. I was also fortunate enough to work for some days in Hindu newspaper in Chennai and also I was fortunate enough to have a degree on journalism like my other degrees. So when the truth is told it should not be half truth. Telling the half truth is not a justification that it is because only half should be projected, other half if projected something else will happen. Now what is happening? World over India is denigrating not because of individuals, only because of the press people. In the name of press freedom, in the name of expression freedom, in the name of freedom of speech, in the name of uh, the fourth estate uh, freedom, many negatives are getting projected not by the burglars, not by the Maoists, not by the Naxalites, 
not by the thieves, not by the terrorists, but part of the first people. I am sure that slowly or steadily they will be putting the both points in equal font size, equal way that neither one get over projected nor other get over degraded. Tell the truth, Satyam Ruya, Priyam Ruya, Nam Ruya Satyam Apriyam, Priyam Janan Radham Ruya, Esa Dharma Sanadana. Never tell the truth if it creates the problem. Never tells the lie or never cover the lie. Never cover the truth. And that is Esa Dharma Sanadana. That is the Dharma of Sanadana, Sanadana Dharma. Tell the truth. Tell the fact. Tell the essence to the extent possible on either side. Thank you very much. My pronouncement.